Well, he is the self-proclaimed prince who inadvertently helped the man known as King Willie Harrington become mayor. Harrington won his first election by fewer than 200 votes. Thousands of votes went to Robert Prince Mungo Hodges, and he's running for mayor again. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews has the story from your local election headquarters. Apparently, a lot of people want to be mayor of this city. So far, 17 people have pulled petitions to run for that office, including a couple of favorites, at least in their own mind. These guys are different. One is Leo Argowat. Remember him? The guy found guilty for vandalizing the old General Nathan Bedford Forrest statue. The police knew it was him because he wrote his name on the statue. The other is Robert Prince Mongo Hodges. He changed history once. Well, Mongo had definitely, arguably, uh, an effect on the 1991 mayor's race when uh, Mayor Harrington beat Dick Hackett by 143 votes, and Mongo got well over 2,000 votes. Mongo claims he's from the planet Zambodia. Sometimes he wears a wig and goggles in public. The job of Prince must pay well because we're told he owns three houses in Memphis, including this one in the Brooklyn neighborhood. Uh, do you need to talk to him? Yeah, is he around or is he stuck on the board? I, he's here. I can give him a call and see yeah. if I can get him. If you could, that'd be great. He I called. Mongo did. He has a message. The city made a mistake taking down the Confederate statues, he says. He's serious about running and says he's serious about winning. You think you're going to be out there campaigning wearing your wig and goggles again? That would, you don't think that takes away from your credibility at all? You don't give a damn. Susan Adler Thurp says Robert Mongo Hodges will just be a name on the ballot if he can get enough signatures on his petition. In a race like this, he's not, it's not that close right now. He's not going to be a spoiler. Um, but, you know, he, every town has its character. He's our character. Petitions must be turned in with the signatures by July 18th. And then you've got one week to decide whether you really want to do it. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.